Hey guys, welcome to Mac Mirai's and in today's video, we will be talking about Bluetooth variants, right? So a lot of people would probably see on any, you know, a wireless audio device, which is powered by Bluetooth. You're going to find that uh, there's the Bluetooth version written right on the box. Now, what does this version signify? How have these versions gone from one to five? What are the differences between the various versions and how do they affect you? First and foremost, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Now, let's start with the basic first. There are two major variants available today for Bluetooth. One is the Bluetooth Classic one, and the other one is Bluetooth Low Energy. So let's talk about the major differences between these two first. The Bluetooth Classic variant is basically what you use for your mainstream transfer of data, right? Let me make this very clear for you. Your phone is using Bluetooth Classic and not Bluetooth Low Energy. The devices like smartwatches and smart bands connecting to it are using Bluetooth Low Energy. So what are the benefits of so what are the benefits of using Bluetooth Low Energy compared to using Bluetooth Classic? Firstly, Bluetooth Low Energy has increased range. That's right. And I'll tell you why. The data transfer speeds are extremely slow with Bluetooth Low Energy as a Bluetooth Low Energy device is expected to transfer really, really small amounts of data. So here the data transfer speeds are below 1 Mbps. That is why most of your headphones are not using Bluetooth Low Energy because the transfer of songs in real time cannot take place at that data transfer rate. You would also realize that when I tell you what are the actual ranges for, for the various Bluetooth versions, you're going to realize that your headphones, your speakers aren't actually working on that range and the real world range is really different. I'll explain you that in a later part of the video. So make sure that you watch the video fully. Now that we know what are the major differences between the Bluetooth Low Energy and Bluetooth Classic, let's now move on to the differences between the major iterations of Bluetooth itself. So when you talk about the major iterations of Bluetooth itself, let's begin with Bluetooth 1.0, where the range was just 10 meters. Wait, isn't your Bluetooth 5.0 box also saying that the range is 10 meters? I'll get to that. So the range was 10 meters at that point of time. The data transfer speeds were below 1 Mbps and the Bluetooth connection was really, really inefficient energy wise. Then came Bluetooth 2.0, where the range became 30 meters, right? Now, with the range becoming 30 meters, a lot of things started changing. With the range becoming 30 meters, a lot of people started using Bluetooth for a lot of mainstream things like using their headphones. With Bluetooth 2.0, the transfer speeds had also increased up to 3 Mbps. So you could probably use it more or less for your audio experience at that point of time but it was still not a perfect thing and it was still very very energy inefficient right then came bluetooth 3.0 now bluetooth 3.0 was a major turning point as far as data transfer speed goes right because of the data transfer speeds that uh, were very slow earlier a lot of people still did not prefer bluetooth but with bluetooth 3.0 Bluetooth started becoming the preferred method of transferring data. Why? The data transfer speeds were increased up to 24 Mbps. Also, the range remained same as Bluetooth 2.0, but the efficiency of the Bluetooth connection increased and now Bluetooth has started to become very, very energy efficient. Now moving on to Bluetooth 4.0. With Bluetooth 4.0, the Bluetooth low energy variant was introduced. Now the Bluetooth low energy variant was introduced keeping in mind the smartwatches and smart bands that had started to come up, right? A lot of runners had started using these and Bluetooth really wanted to taste how a Bluetooth low energy device would probably work. And it was a successful experiment, right? Also with Bluetooth 4.0, the energy efficiency was improved. The range now increased to 60 meters, which was amazing and people loved it. Bluetooth now became the mainstream way to go, right? A lot of people till date do not prefer Wi-Fi for data transfer, but rather Bluetooth. And there's a very, very simple reason for it. It's 
efficient it does not require you to have any kind of access point and people are very very used to it like i told you bluetooth 3.0 really changed the game for bluetooth now when you talk about bluetooth 4.0 a lot of things had become efficient firstly bluetooth low energy the epitome of efficiency then the data transfer speeds were actually getting 24 mbps moreover with bluetooth 4.0 moreover the bluetooth low energy variant was introduced with bluetooth 4.0 so yes bluetooth's major major concern here was energy efficiency and bluetooth 4.0 achieved peak energy efficiency right so here is the time where bluetooth started becoming the go to choice the bluetooth 4.0 version started becoming the go to choice for every major company because of the energy efficiency after this came bluetooth 5.0 and this is where the whole focus shifted from energy efficiency to ensuring that the range is really really high and the range had finally increased to 240 meters which was really a lot now a lot of you must be wondering how do your bluetooth 5.0 headphones still say 10 meters now there are certain there are certain number of things that you need to consider before you start feeling bad firstly this range is not a real world range this range is lab testing open sky is clear pathways right if there is a li direct line of sight and nothing nothing at all to disturb the connection you would probably get this range but the real world is really different there's a lot of things that happen there are a lot of conflicting radio waves that are being used by various electronics items in your home that is why the actual effective range still remains 10 meters and most of you would be already aware that with the increase in distance between two devices the data transfer speeds start to drop the connection starts to be not that reliable that is why most of the headphone companies do not go beyond 10 meters because that would really make the connection unstable and unreliable that is why most of your boxes have just 10 meter written as range you let me know if you had the actual range given by bluetooth in their description how would you use that range thanks for watching the video guys i'll see you in the next one